Hey guys, today in this video, I figured I'm just going to do a voiceover because I don't feel like filming today. So, let's get started. Yes, guys, today we are going to be talking about the 2019 All-Star Race. Uh, we're going to be covering news and picks today. Just to let you guys know, uh, this is recorded uh, the, d during, uh, I can't even speak, during um, qualifying, so I don't know any of the things yet besides. Sorry guys, besides uh, practice, so yeah, this is the 2019 All-Star Race featuring uh, G the Gen 7 race car that will po probably be debuting in a couple years, so this is a race to watch for us NASCAR fans. Uh, so let's continue on talking. Okay, guys, before we continue on talking, I would like to say happy birthday to my friend Ella at school. Um, she's been a pretty good friend. Uh, happy birthday. Okay, guys, now we are going to be talking about the real Gen 7 race car. Uh, and as you can see by this hood view, uh, it has hood ducts on them. Now, I don't think it's been confirmed that this will be a car that, that the gen that the Gen 7 car will be this sort of car in 2021 or further. Probably not due to the fact that uh the deal with the sponsors being on the hood. I don't know if they even will have sponsors on the hood next year. But who knows, maybe they'll have um some sort of crazy things such as hood duct I mean not hood ducts, roof ducts. In my opinion, I think that would have been a cool thing to see roof ducts on a race car. Because I've never seen those roof ducts. I don't even know if they exist. Okay, now we are going to be talking about picks. And my pick is not Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has won the All-Star Race before in 2017. But, I don't think he'll get it done this year. So, my pick will be, drumroll please. That's right, NASCAR fans, my pick is Chase Elliott for today, tonight's All-Star Race. You're welcome, Chase Elliott fans. Anyway, this concludes today's program of In the Room with um, host Joshua Santos. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.